is a signing in New Orleans that kind of caught us off guard yesterday. Chase Young, formerly of the Washington Commanders and of the San Francisco 49ers this past season, is now a New Orleans Saint uh, on a one-year, fully guaranteed mm. third. $15 million dollar deal. I don't think any of us expect this for Chase Young. Congratulations getting a fully guaranteed deal. I assume there's incentives as well for that particular team. Nobody's really talking about the Saints this particular offseason. Last year was big quarterback drama. This year, not really a lot of chatter about the Saints and an NFC South that really is not highly heralded. No, it's not because, I mean, I, th I think a lot of the news from that division has been with the other teams because it's been with Tampa because they re-signed Baker and the Falcons made a head coaching change and you know, Carolina is just kind of a dumpster fire, and, and and New Orleans has kind of been the forgot about team because, I mean, they're they've been a really good organization. They just kind of go about their business. The only time we talked about it was Michael Thomas was not happy with that beat writer who said he was going to get released mm -hmm. on so and so day. But he was oh like, yeah, he called him a hoe. Yeah, yeah he, did. he did call him a hoe. He Jeff did. Duncan also when Mickey Loomis chewed that gum. Allegedly, to the mic. allegedly, yeah. Jeff Duncan's that's what Michael Thomas is. Using. Allegedly, right. sure. We do not know Jeff Dunk. No, we do not know Dunks as his friends call him. Uh -uh. Love but we did read a tweet. On X, yeah. they called him a hoe. Yeah, right. Now, that was certainly a topic of discussion, but back to your point, or your point. I forget who said it over yeah, here. Mickey. The guy that's running that team is a barn animal <laughs> yes. in yep. chewing gum and mm -hmm. eating food. Yes, that's the yes. big takeaway from this particular offseason. Yeah. yeah, I think that's why we stopped talking about the Saints is because we listened to that two-minute video, the True. entirety of it, while being so upset with the fact that he was just chomping on his gum into the microphone that we were like, all right, you know what? Saints, we'll see you in September. We're not talking about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So sometimes you have these ideas, right? And then they backfire. So you've got to adjust, and then you got adversity, and you're either thriving or you're dying, okay? So sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to. Next question. Into a microphone. Yep. Yeah. For a while. It's like, buddy. You're killing me. Yeah, stop. Like, actually, nobody wants to listen to any of the words coming out of your mouth right now. I, they won a Super Bowl. Yes, they, they did. did. Oh, yeah. Against right. a yeah. team that I was on. Against you. Yeah. I, not against me. Well, I was on the field, mm -hmm. but I am nowhere near to blame for our loss, which is cool. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. That is really cool. Yep. And also, if we would have won, nobody would have remembered that I was on the team, except for if I won. Huh? Ever seen one of these? That is. Cool. But instead, Mickey Loomis gets a Super Bowl. So he's obviously done a lot of great things over mm -hmm. a long time. But with the way he talked in that microphone, I would have never expected him to be a successful anything. Nope. At ever, ever. Chase Young coming in, though, alongside that defense, which has been good for years. Mm -hmm. Feels like the Saints defense very underappreciated yeah. from a national conversation standpoint because the offense over the last few years since Sean Payton's retirement hasn't been able to keep up. But they add another weapon to the defense. I assume they're willing to pay the $13 million and be like, hey, you get us six more sacks, seven more sacks this year. That's all we think we need to get over the hump defensively. And then on the offense, Derek Carr is just going to have to figure it out. Yeah, they've always been able to get to the quarterback and their back end's really good. I think they re restructured or re-signed uh, to an extension to Mario Davis again. So he's basically, I think, going to finish his career there, which is awesome. But, like, it's always – it's been the, the last few years, it's been the O-line and the quarterback position. And that's – I mean, Derek Carr is so up and down. Like, he'll make throws where you're like, oh, right, that's – MVP. That's yeah, unbelievable. MVP. And then he'll make throws and you're like, I almost swore because that's, that's literally what he makes you want. Like, what the – are we thinking? Freak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What the freak are we doing? Exactly. Yeah. Down there. Which is what he would say, too. Yeah, because yeah, he that's how he would speak. Kamara mm -hmm. will have a full offseason. Which is always seemingly, you watch Kamara, well, you go, he's so good. Why does their offense stink? Yep. Makes no sense. Taysom Hill, he's so good. Why yeah. does their offense stink? Mm -hmm. Olave. Olave. To Tony, so Tony, good. Yeah. Why does their offense stink? I mean, Rashid Shahid, the amount of big plays that he made last year. He Chuck came was, in and said hello to the world. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why is it? Why do they stink? Doesn't make any sense. None. Joining us now is a man who might know the reasoning on why Chase Young got brought in for a fully guaranteed $13 million deal to the Saints. What are they looking for down there? Joining us is a former GM, an author, a speaker, a host, a writer, an email newsletter entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, host of the Lombardi Line, Michael Lombardi. Yay, Lombardi! Hey, Lombo. Lombo. Hello, How are we doing? Hey, great. Not as good as Chase Young on this glorious day. $13 million yeah. guaranteed. Do we expect that? This is like third, fourth round of the free agency wave. I don't think I... I don't think I saw that number coming to any human this late into the free agency tampering period. But Chase Young gets $13 million. What do you think the reasoning is behind it, Lombo? 
Well, you know, look, this is a good defense. I heard you guys talking about it. I mean, they gave up 72 points over the last five games of the season. They played well. And, and, you know, you need a pass rusher at the end of the game in the fourth quarter. And I'm sure they're probably selling him on, you didn't get the contract you wanted. You didn't get over $20 million. You didn't get as much as Bryce Huff did from the Eagles on a, on a multi-year deal. You know, we'll pay you this number and come in and prove it. I'm sure it's got a lot of voidable years to the deal to get the cap number low, kind of like the Beckham deal last year with the Ravens. So this is one of those win-win deals. You know, if you play well, we win and you win. And I think that's ultimately what happens. And you could wait around and, you know, once the number was going to start getting lower, I'm sure other teams are going to try to get involved. But for the Saints, you know, look, at the end of the year, they were playing good. As, as I, you guys were talking about, their offense has always been the issue, and their red zone offense particularly. So they've made those changes. Clint Kubiak comes in on the offensive staff. They've kind of gone away from the Sean Payton offense, so we'll see how it works for Carr. I remember Derek Carr in that press conference talking about the red zone or third down offense. Yeah. I forget what it was. He got into it a little bit like uh, with the uh, media yeah. when they were chit-chatting about the lack of performance on the important downs. Hopefully they'll be able to figure it out. Congrats, Chase. Good luck out there. Good luck, Chase.